A resident in my ward's son died in his arms when his 15-year-old son was given a free sample of uh, an energy drink. And uh, with no medical conditions, no history of any health issues, it's a story that has pushed this councillor to try and ban young people 19 and under from buying energy drinks at city events and venues and possibly even beyond. If you have a 7-year-old or a 10-year-old or a 15-year-old going into a store who can't buy cigarettes, they shouldn't be able to buy energy drinks either. Would a ban on energy drinks mean that the next age restriction would be in coffee houses? But at Toronto's Board of Health meeting today, the president of the Canadian Beverage Association said that that kind of regulation limits freedom of choice. I think it's a little over the top for the city to be considering banning a, a product that Health Canada has deemed uh, safe for consumption by both adults and adolescents uh, <laughs> under the age of 18. You can drive a car at 16, but apparently you would not be able to uh, buy an energy drink. If approved, a ban on drinks like these would mean not not only would they not be able to be sold in city venues, but also events like the CNE, and they'd even be looking to extend that ban to convenience stores, which many small business owners aren't happy about. Why are you ignoring all the caffeine, other chains, and that national chains, and we can just say Starbucks, Tim Hortons, Burger King, McDonald's, all those people that are also in the, all those companies that are still in the city of Toronto that sell caffeinated products that have more caffeine than a, an, an average energy drink in a convenience store. Medical research presented at the meeting suggests high levels of caffeine in the drinks can raise blood pressure and heart rates and even trigger seizures, something even more concerning when mixed with alcohol. We know uh, a lot of young teenagers, unfortunately, take that energy drink, take their beer, mix them and get a real high buzz. And when you're 15 or 16 years old, that might sound like a lot of fun, but as adults, we know that can lead to very tragic consequences. But still, many teens say, even if a ban was approved, where there's a will, there's a way. It'd be counterproductive because they would find another way to uh, get the extra energy and concentration, so Adderall, more espresso. You're going to have to study, and if you're not able to stay awake while studying, you're going to find a way. And as for next steps, the board asked Toronto's medical officer of health to put together a report on energy drinks. He'll be conducting interviews and going over research before presenting his recommendations at a future meeting.